What geopolitical reason could be behind the Qatargate scandal that is plaguing the European Union? A few days ago, this rich Gulf state of Qatar was telling the Europeans that it was unable to cover their energy needs in natural gas. At the same time, however, they started contracts with Russia and there was information that they might form a cartel with Russia and China. In fact, Qatar was probably planning to direct quantities of valuable uh, natural gas to Russia. At the same time, however, this state, with it, this name literally, supports the Sultan next to us, so that he, that is to, to Turkey next to Greece, so that he can be comfortable, so that he can threaten Europe. What should Europeans first remember? When years ago in the... Uh, what happened to Christians from the jihadist wolves in Syria is what this state that paid them according to reports that were circulating. Sheer curse for Syria, together with Turkey, was to remember that everyone and ours went out to generally Qatar, to generous Qatar, to conclude agreements. Even church officials went there. But now, has Qatar turned to Russia and China rung bells in the EU that they've decided to check the sly lucky charms it's been handing out. The lucky charms meaning, of course, bags of money. What we live in, in this is the tip of the iceberg. There is depth and there are sharks at the bottom. Update about the information about this subject. We're facing a critical moment for democracy and the European Parliament, said the president of the European Parliament, Metzola, in the context of the avalanche of developments with Qatargate and the involvement of European uh, Minister, Parliament member of, from Greece, Eva Kaili. Quote, I have said to the uh, Malings from third countries who think that Europe is being sold out, I tell them that you will find the European Parliament in front of you. We are Europeans. We prefer to be cold than to be paid. End quote. Well, that's a lie, isn't it? Robert Medtoza said, third countries, authoritarian regimes threatening our republic and Europe. We've had some of the most endless days. We must continue without questioning the investigations and the presumptions of innocence, he underlined, calling for a stronger European Parliament. The European Parliament is under attack. The European Republic is under attack, he said. The enemy will stop nowhere. These perpetrators have used as a Trojan horse liquid natural gas and NGOs, executives and people from within the European Parliament, but they failed, said Metzosa, pointing out in a dramatic statement. Now regarding Eva Kaili, Roberta Metzola emphasized that I have convened an extraordinary conference, conference of presidents to start the Article 21 process and that her term as Vice President should cease in order to protect the integrity of the European Parliament. Also, the President of the European Parliament emphasized that the procedure for lifting the travel visas for Kuwait and Qatar is suspended. We will not tolerate corruption, but there's more to come on this, isn't there? Every day we get more news on this. Something very strange is happening, happening in the European Union, the Parliament members there, receiving bags of money from Qatar. This I've translated for you from a Greek article, and they're calling it, of course, Qatargate. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.